Saturday mid to late afternoon into the early evening time frame, but most of the time for this extended weekend. Again, it's not going to be raining with temperatures holding pretty close to average. So this is what the future track looks like starts just after midnight. We'll take you through the entire overnight again. There's not a lot in the way of any substantial precipitation, but a few light showers and sprinkles can't be ruled out. I think most of tomorrow morning should be on the dry side. This though is 3:30 in the afternoon, and I think that's got the right idea with that being the better chance for any wet weather, but it doesn't mean it's a solid soaking rain everywhere, and I certainly don't think it lasts more than a couple of hours or a few hours at any one location. So temperatures tonight with a couple spotty showers down into the lower 60s could be a couple of upper 50s, especially in those traditionally cooler locations northeast of Grand Rapids. Tomorrow really depends on how much sun we can see. I think uh, mid 70s, perhaps a couple of locations get into the upper 70s. Now, as far as Lake Michigan forecast, it's going to be a little bit choppy out on the water. Small craft advisories are posted. Beach hazard statement, Ottawa County to the north that due to the growth Growing winds and waves through the course of the afternoon. Those waves up to five feet can be enough that they actually crash over the breakwaters and the piers. And certainly the risk for rip currents is elevated tomorrow. And I think that's going to be the case as we go into Sunday and most of Monday as well. So not the best swimming weekend out at Lake Michigan. The extended forecast, you'll notice temperatures very steady here as we head through the extended forecast within a few degrees of the mid 70s. Overnight lows generally in the 50s. I think overall the best chance for wet weather coming up over the next seven days will occur on Tuesday, at which point in time we could actually even see a few thunderstorms as well.